Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be showing you how to make some rainbow avalanche slime. So let's get into the list of materials. The things that you'll be needing are some clear glue of any kind. These are the brands that I usually use, but you can use any other brand that has PVA, as well as some white school glue, but you can also use glue wall for a thicker texture and some shaving foam for the, your slime, as well as a mixing tool. And scent is completely optional. I'm using lavender vanilla and some lotion will make your slime super stretchy and don't forget your bowl. And food coloring is also optional. And my activator is half a teaspoon of borax mixed with a cup of warm water. And I just place this inside of a squeezy bottle, but you can also use any glue container that you have left over. So we are going to start off with making our white glue slime. So you will begin by pouring your glue into your bowl and remember that this determines the amount of slime that you will have. Now we are going to put lotion and this is just going to make your slime stretchy. And I don't know what happened to the shaving cream container but I fixed it. And this is going to make our slime fluffy so go ahead and mix it in. And this is where I'm adding scent. And again like I said in the beginning this is lavender vanilla but this step is completely optional. And now go in with your activator gradually and this is going to make your slime come together and stir slowly if you want a nice thick texture in your slime if you're not using glue all. And once it is like this, you can go ahead and play with it in your hands. two parts into making avalanche slime so now we are going to move on to the clear slime part and for this just go ahead and pour your clear glue into a bowl and remember that this determines the amount of slime you'll have and I kind of regret doing this step but I'm going to add scent and I regret this because it makes it a bit cloudy and now go ahead and act your activator in gradually and you can use a strong or weak activator for this one but I usually recommend doing a weak one so that you don't over borax your slime We have finally reached the last step, which is to actually build the avalanche slime. So you don't want your clear slime to fill up the whole container. You want your clear slime to fill up about half. So I'm using this to measure this so that I know how much slime I'm going to put in and how much slime I have to color. So I'm going to color each of my slimes the colors of the rainbow. So I'm just splitting it up into even pieces so that I can color them all equally so that it will look perfect once I place it inside of my container. So we're starting off with red. I did skip purple because I didn't make enough slime for that one. And now begin to line up your slimes in the color of the rainbow. But if you did another pattern, then go ahead and add this into your bottom. Again, you didn't have to make five colors. You could have made two or three, depending on what you like. After you're done ordering, go ahead and flatten it down and this looks beautiful. You could actually stop right here if you don't want it to become an avalanche. But now we are going to put some white slime on top and this is so cute. It reminds you of clouds and unicorns and I really like that. And this was amazing. I absolutely love this slime, but we're not done yet. We have to wait for the avalanche. So I topped it off with some borax just in case it got sticky over the days and rubbed it around and placed the lid and you can leave it upside down or like this. And now we're going to wait for about one to two days. After two days, this is how my avalanche slime looks. The colors started fading into the white and the clear really cleared up because the air bubbles were out. And this slime is absolutely amazing. Now let's get into the ASMR. Okay guys, I want you guys to stop the video right here and comment down below what color you think this slime will turn out.
in the end, as you can see, the slime turned into this really muddy grayish green color, which I don't really like, but still, the process of making this was so much fun, and I absolutely loved how it looked when it was forming into an avalanche. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Here are today's shoutouts. If you want a shoutout like this one, then make sure to comment down below, hashtag subbed, and please remember to comment, share, and also like very please just click that thumbs up subscribe and also turn post notifications on bye